This is Geo Nichols describing Movie Tone's film of the boat race for you. It's amazing the appeal which every year the boat race makes to thousands of people who throng the river banks for four and a quarter miles from Putney to Mortlake. Twelve years it is since the Dark Blues won, and even though I rode for Oxford and am probably prejudiced, I do feel that the larger section of these enormous crowds hope that Oxford will at last pull off that long looked for victory. It's half past two, and Oxford's challengers come out first. They have lost the toss, which is a bit of a handicap. With the westerly wind blowing, it is natural that Cambridge, who follow, having won the toss, should choose the Surrey station, which will enable them to dodge much of the rough water by seeking the shelter of the Surrey shore. At the stake boats, are you ready? Go! With a few firm, even strokes, Cambridge have stolen a lead at the very start. They row 37 to Oxford's 33 and have a good half length in hand at the end of the first minute. Things don't look too good for Oxford. They flounder in the popular waters, their blades sending up sheets of spray. In the launches which follow, Old Blues grimly observe the increasing gap between the two boats, which as we approach Harrods is already as much as three and a half lengths. A shattering lead so early in the race. At Hammersmith, Oxford make a big effort, but from the air you can see Cambridge emerging beyond the bridge as Oxford start to shoot it. Opposite Chiswick Mow, Cambridge are the only crew in the picture. The light blues have definitely adopted the new style this year and are rowing with swivel relics. The effect is an interesting new rhythm, rather like stopping a razor. Flip, flap, backwards, forwards. The camera has to fall back to pick up the dark blues trailing behind and rowing closer to the shore than their rivals. Sutcliffe calls on his crew for another spurt, but the wind is dead on and the water rough and the buffeting seems to take all the stuffing out of their effort. Still rowing as one man, the light blues lead by five lengths opposite the Cambridge enclosure near Barnes. What a procession! Cambridge show the way through Barnes Bridge and even the light blue supporters can hardly raise a smile. How the Bankside enthusiasts keep up their spirits is a marvel. Whatever would happen if there was a real race, most of them would fall in from sheer excitement. Cambridge steered a little wide going up to Mortlake, but at the finish, it's only Cambridge in the picture again. Four and a half lengths ahead, while Oxford lollop along a beaten and broken crew. Next year may be Cambridge's 13th consecutive victory, or, well, they may be unlucky. In the meantime, let's congratulate them on their 12th win as they pose for us in a happy group. <laughs>